it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another video. I've got lots to cover in this video. I went to some antique stores and some thrift stores and then I found a few more pieces that I'm going to use in my newest booth. Uh, so would that be booth number three? I haven't um, heard back from the owner that they have one available yet, but I still am um, acquiring all the different pieces that I need. And I think I have about everything I need to get going on the booth, aside from the flooring, which is gonna be some VCT tile. Um, so I ha and that even I haven't decided what color I wanna do for the checkerboard bottom. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. So I wanna do a checkerboard flooring in the booth to help create that illusion that you're in the 50s, a 50s kitchen or, you know. So um, gotta figure out what color I wanna do on the tile, probably a variant of like white and black or white and blue or white and red, I have not decided. So I wanna get your guys' ideas on that. I'm gonna show you the different pieces that I have so far later and just a bit after this haul video or after this table that I've gotta show you. So let me get going on that. All right, so an absolutely amazing thing here. There's the dog right over there. Um, amazing item I picked up is these McKee refrigerator dishes. They are milk glass with clear glass tops. And you can see the MCK logo right there. I bought, I bought these on Facebook Marketplace for only $24 for the set of three. That is outstanding. And they are free of chips and cracks. Amazing. These date to be from the, around the 30s time frame. I've sold in the past the stacking, no, the uh, canisters, the ones with that are all milk glass with milk glass lids and they're round. Forgot what they're called. I think, um, well, they're just round canisters. I'm not sure exactly what they're for. Use them for whatever. Stella, okay. We're not going to be going, we're not gonna be doing this. <laughs> okay. So I bought those for $24. I think they're gonna sell online probably between 100, 150, but I gotta do a little bit more research on that. Seems to be hard to find this one in particular. It seems also to also hard to find, I <laughs> can't get the words out. It's hard to find them with their lids too. And um, the configurations I'm seeing is just really scattered. I have not seen anybody selling the set of three like this. So that's, that's to be, um, considered whenever I'm doing the pricing, but that's really cool, really awesome, really happy I got that. All right, and then this right here is one of these little flip calendar things. Really neat, works wonderfully, and it comes with two pins set in their little cradles. It does say something here on the wood, Melbourne, that must, well, I wonder, could this be like an Australian thing? I don't know, could be, gotta look that up. It's, it's in quotation marks. This could also be some, I don't know. Gotta do a little research. Uh, the pins are dried up, but you just, they take standard um, cartridges, so I can replace that very easily. I paid $5 for this at the flea market place. Um, this is a different flea market place than I usually go to. I usually go to a flea market on Thursdays. This one here is about 15 minutes away and they usually don't have the best stuff there, but every now and again, I get lucky. So I was able to find this really cool. We'll see what they <laughs> turn slowly. That's funny. It's like, you're going too quick. Change a month. <laughs> it keeps, <laughs> okay. There we go. That's funny that it has like built-in warnings. That is crazy. October, Tuesday. There we go. So yeah, I'm spending too much time on this. Okay, um, also at the place I bought, bought this here. It's a little bluebird of happiness. Comes with the little guy right there next to him. I tried pulling off the sticker. They stuck a sticky sticker right over the top of the original sticker. Sunny Day Bluebird, and it is signed 1997 by Ron Ray. So this will probably go in the booth for about $12 with a pair of them, and I paid $3 at the same place that I got that boomerang thing. Really cool. This here came from Goodwill and it's interesting. It's an antler of some sort. And I think this is like a little candle holder, um, little bitty guy there. And this will probably go in the booth. So yes, I paid $3 for it. We'll see what they go for. I don't know exactly how much something like this would sell for. I'm thinking 
at least twelve dollars, and we'll work. Well, I'm going to get the idea. I'm going to ask the owner of the ten pen because I have not sold anything like this before, and I really don't know the market of it. But I think that with like hunters and stuff like that, this could go over pretty well, and it's pretty unique. So we'll see about that. Also at Goodwill were these two guys right here. This is Linux, fifty cents, third in series. It's like a bird in a frame. It's an ornament. Originally $34, and I paid 50 cents. That's amazing. <laughs> and this one here is a Hallmark keepsake ornament of this. Pel is it a pelican? Or, yes, it's a Fisher pelican. And 50 cents on that, 1993 Hallmark. Do a little research on those. Hopefully this one turns out to be a good one, considering the name. But uh, we will see. Um, all right. So... I feel out of context here. There's a whole story to this, but I bought this and that red Pyrex hostess bowl from the, the same person who's a seller, a reseller, but I found her on Facebook because she was selling a display piece for the booth. So I went there and I bought that. And I'll show you all that in just a bit. That's a different area and we're gonna get through this table real quick. But uh, anyway, she has an enormous space and um, I love that, but I was able to shop her inventory for dealer pricing. So got these really cool glasses here, spectacular, $5 for the set of six of them. These will probably go online. It's a good, good looking set, and I think they'll do better online than in the booth. Uh, really retro and fun, and she's ready to come in. So I paid $5, and hopefully they'll go for about 30 online plus shipping. Um, so maybe $45, all said. That could be cool. Also paid $5 for this here. It comes with the original lid. Very nice. She tried to sell it, I guess, at one point for $12. It's an old sticker. I th think I can get about 20 out of it in the booth. And for $5 investment, that's pretty darn good. And I love that it has the lid still. The, let's see. So those are the two things like that I bought that were more or less inventory related. The other two items that I bought from her were uh, display pieces for the booth. This here, I just thought I'd throw it in the haul video. I bought this at the 10 Pen Antique Mall where I rent my spaces at, and somebody else was selling it, and I thought it was cute. Tree ornament hangy, hanger box, uh, box. So it's really neat, and I just think that's a really pretty box. So This here I also bought at another Antique Mall, and it was only $3.50. It's one of these popcorn, melted popcorn plastic decorations. I love these. I don't have this one, so I thought I would grab it for $3.50. That's neat. And, you know, you, there was another person selling these for about $10 a piece, and uh, that's just too much. I'm not going to spend that. I could find them pretty easily still at these auctions for anywhere from $1 to $3. So I grabbed that one right on up. I forgot to mention these in the last haul video, and I'm trying to remember where I bought them. Oh, I remember. I bought them at the Thursday, the place that I go to on Thursdays, which is a flea market place that sells things that they bought, or no, that they, anyways. <laughs> I bought these all for $5. It's amazing. They are Salem Maple Leaf, awesome, awesome glasses, clear as glass, <laughs> and uh, very, very special. So there's eight of these tall ones. I wonder if I have a carrier for that. That would be awesome if I had an extra carrier to put those in. And then there's four of these smaller juice glasses and three of these ones here, these smaller tumblers. So very cool. I was able to get all those. Uh, they're going to go online for sure. This set of eight will go and this set of four will go. This set of three I might try out in the booth because... I just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this here, okay, actually, this, this, and this, I got at a yard sale here in town. So I was able to get this really cool, I think it's German. It's an old medicine bottle. And it has some writing on there, if you can see it. Forns, Alper, no, Al, Alpencranler. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. So really awesome jar, uh, 
bottle and I bought that for $2 effectively. Well, no, let's just say I, I bought this and this for $5. And this here are a set of eight napkin rings with a K monogram. These are from the 70s. Whoops. So I thought that was cool. Hopefully they do well online. Makes a great wedding gift, which is what it was originally. <laughs> Um, that's what she told me. And then this was also, I believe, a wedding gift from someone when she got married. And this is in the Wexford pattern. Very heavy lid. Oh my gosh. I paid $10 for this, by the way. Um, it's going to go in the booth and I figured since holidays are coming up, it has a really good chance of selling for about $20, $25. So that's what we're going to do with it. Need to give it a little wash, get some of this cloudiness out of there. So it's crystal clear. But it's really nice. I think it's going to sell pretty easily in the booth. <laughs> she said, she actually, I went to her yard sale earlier this year. This is her second yard sale that I went to. And she said, oh, well, she remembered me. And I said, um, I think I want this. And she's like, oh, yeah, that'll do good online. I'm like, well, I'm not going to sell this online. This is super, super heavy and very delicate. But uh, she was like, yeah, they go for like $30 or $40 online. I'm like, eh, I'm going to put it in the booth. Okay, so I got all of this stuff taken care of. Thought I did really well. And it all came from so many different places. It's hard to keep track. So now I'm going to show you some things that I got for the booth, some display pieces. So we are currently in a basically a garage of someone that I went to pick up a red shelf, that red shelf for booth number three. And she has all of this stuff she has like four rooms like this filled with items and i'm just walking through and i'm getting dealer pricing really awesome but she has like four antique booths and she's been in the business for a long time i've already got a pile going i spent quite a bit but she has so many cool things <laughs> oh my goodness gracious This is just one room and imagine this times like six easily. Look at that kitchen, it's a vintage kitchen. This caught my eye earlier, but it's not for sale. It's a Jaguar, darn it. I would have grabbed that. I heard it. Isn't that cool? Service station. Marilyn, look at you. <laughs> Yet another space full of stuff. There's Marilyn again. More of them. Look, there she is there. <laughs> Aaron would flip out if I did this. He would have a cow if I had this much stuff. And then besides the stuff in these nice rooms, she has like three actual full garages, not temperature controlled, full of other items. Okay, so in the last video, I showed you this piece of countertop here and the, the cabinet base that this goes on to. And I was mentioning that I was going to get a shelf like this one right here, and it was gonna like set above it or be mounted on the wall above it because it's a L shape and this is an L shape cabinet right here. So if you can picture this, you know, it, this is a th about three feet by three feet and this is just under three feet this direction and then it goes three feet this way and then it stops about there and then so it's, it's only like this short. It's really neat the way that this turned out and this is definitely retro looking 
really, really cool. I, okay, so here's my problem, and I mentioned it earlier about the color situation. This is like a bluish, okay. <laughs> Aaron's sister keeps saying it's green. Okay, it's a green blue color. So, okay, I think I have to agree. It's kind of green, but this is like this color. Can't change that, don't wanna change it. It's really nice, really pretty, love it. This is red. It just clashes completely, I think. So before I, before I continue, I also have this table. So I wanna, I wanna give you the whole picture of all the different pieces I have. So then I bought this here um, from somebody on Facebook this morning, and it was $30. I don't know if you can recognize what this is, but it is an old Steak and Shake table. That is really, really cool. Isn't it cool? So it's an old Steak and Shake hat table that I'm gonna put in the booth as just another display piece. It, it could probably hang out in the middle of the booth if there's space there. That's where I envisioned it um, so that you can kind of walk around it and it sort of ties all the, because for the most part, everything's gonna be along the, the border of the booth and the middle had nothing in it. And so I thought this would look great in the middle of it. So that's that piece. And then, so that red shelf I just showed you, I also bought this from her. This is a rolling cart with the gray cracked ice formica on top. The chrome is really cool, but it's seen better days. There's a lot of rust coming through here. I do have a solution for that if I can get it to work. This is pretty bad though. Um, you can even see where she bought it originally at an auction. Number's still on there. It's, it's yeah, like I said, it has some issues, but I can get this cleaned up on top. I think I can get this chrome looking slightly better. If I really can't and it really bothers me, I can always paint the chrome uh, black. If, it, if worse comes to worse, don't want to do that. But if I had to, to just paint the metal black. So I've got that. I paid $5 for this cart. And that came about because I didn't have exact change whenever I bought that red shelf from her. And so I, I was able to buy this for the change that she would have had to give me. Um, I think I mentioned that, so I've got the blue shelf. So we've got that blue shelf, we've got that bluish green countertop, we've got this gray one here. And then the other, okay, and then outside, oh, I forgot to mention this. I bought this at a yard sale. Okay, so the, the yard sale that I bought the cake plate from, the cake plate with the, um, with the rings, napkin rings, I bought this, it was $20. $20 for this. This is going to go in the new booth as well. It's not necessarily old, but it has that vibe because it has that, well, it's white, it's wood, it's been, you know, has that handmade look. It's not professional. So that'll go great in the 50s themed booth and I'm going to keep it white. So knowing that, oh, and I've got this that I'm going to paint white, I think. Maybe I'll get crazy and want to do an accent with it, but I'm thinking white. Um, love the little scallop top that's really reminiscent to the 50s as well. Okay. Going back inside, oh, and these chairs actually came with that table, the, the steak and shake table, but they're not period or even realistic at all, but it just came with it. So $30, two chairs, they're stacking right now, and the table. Oh, and it also came with this thing here. <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, the steak and shake guy. I've already got him listed online for like $12 because that seems to be what they are selling for. We'll see if I can sell it and make some of my money back just on that alone. And I just feel like we're scattered all over the place in this hall, but over here, these are some shelf risers and you can see here it does expand. It does, definitely. It does expand and it basically is double of what you see on a shelf riser. I bought these also from the same lady that I bought the, um, the shelf, the red shelf and the gray, rolling cart, all that. So I got these, I paid $5 for each of them and I got two. And that's a great price. If you ever look these things up, they go for like upwards of $20 new, these risers, it's crazy. So I was able to buy these off for she had, she had multiple, so. And um, that's really cool. These are great for salt and peppers, small figurines. So really happy I was able to get that. But back to what I was saying, we've got, you know, a blue shelf, gray, which I'll call neutral, doesn't matter. You can ignore that one. I guess the main issue here we have is this red and this green. And then also there is a touch of red in the current cabinet that I have in booth number one, which is going to be moved into the new booth. So that it's, it's actually like a 40s or 50s style cabinet to begin with. And it has like an accent of red painted sort of in the bottom back of it, just a touch of it. So it does have some red. This has a little bit of red banding 
this is just too much, I feel like. Okay, so with that in consideration, I need to choose a floor color. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a checkerboard of white and then another color. But they don't make that exact color. Um, so I don't know what to do. And I don't know if I wanna do red necessarily. I am afraid it's gonna look kind of cr like Christmassy in there all year. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that right where it's at and let, let that just kind of marinate because I am not sure. And I think I covered everything that's sort of going on right now. We just have lots of <laughs> random furniture everywhere. Oh, I forgot to mention. So this is not going to be mount mounted on the wall like I originally thought. Uh, this it'll it could be mounted but i'm worrying that that's going to just be too much of a hassle so what i'm going to do is get some clear glass blocks like the building blocks they're eight inches by eight inches by like four inches uh, wide and they're they've been in use for many many years many decades actually and you can still buy them today these glass blocks with like the wavy well what i'm going to do is set them on the counter and then just set this right on top of it and so that'll give you an eight inch clearance from the bottom. So basically you're gonna end up with a good clearance of almost a foot it looks like, or a little past that, um, from the counter to the underside of this. If you can imagine a glass block setting under this leg, under this leg, under this leg, and then there's one more leg back there. So four glass blocks setting on top of this counter, not mounted on the wall, and then yeah, so they're gonna be pretty close to each other like they are now. Anyways, I need to go calm down. I've, oh boy. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.